Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the 511 LV18 backpack, which I'm honestly surprised I haven't heard more about. 511 is a very well-known brand in the carry community. We recently looked at the updated version of their popular Rush 12 backpack. They offer well-built bags with a nice feature set, and I was particularly intrigued by the LV18 as it seemed to include many of the things that I would look for in an ideal EDC bag. So I was excited to have a chance to test it out. I've been using it for a couple of weeks and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience testing it. I'll show you how I've loaded it out, walk through the different features that it has, and I'll also talk about how it compares to some of the other popular EDC bags that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, I wanna thank the company for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, well, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the outside of the bag, I really like the overall aesthetic. It's not a super minimal bag, but it strikes a nice balance between offering some of the functionality that a more overtly tactical bag would offer, but with kind of a gray man style vibe that's meant to blend into any environment that you take it into. To me, this could almost resemble something like a North Face backpack that I would see around campus or exploring a city. And it's minimal enough that I would still feel comfortable taking this into the office. So a really nice, versatile look in my opinion. As far as the materials on the exterior, the bag is made out of an 840D nylon, which feels like it's gonna hold up well to rougher usage. It also feels like it's gonna offer a nice amount of weather resistance. And then you have some nice YKK zippers all throughout. Continuing along the outside of the bag, as far as branding, the company keeps things pretty minimal here. You just have a small logo on the front, and I thought it was an interesting touch that you can actually tuck this away if you wanna give the bag an even cleaner look, or you know if you wanna hide the fact that this is a 511 bag as the company makes a lot of accessories for concealed carry and things like that, so that might just make it a little bit more discreet if that's something that you're after, or you can leave it out. I just left it out because I honestly don't think it stands out very much. And then on the sides of the bag, you have external water bottle pockets, which I was very happy to see. This was able to hold the same 20 ounce water bottle that you've seen in a lot of my other daily bag videos. It fit in there pretty comfortably. The compartments have a decent amount of volume. They come out, they have some gussets, so they don't take up the volume from inside of the bag. They don't have a ton of elasticity, but they do have the ability to expand and compress with this button here when you're not using them. You can actually just snap it closed and it keeps the pocket closer to the bag and then when you wanna take advantage of that full volume, you just unsnap it and it's gonna give you enough space to hold a water bottle, an umbrella, maybe a tripod. And then you also have some compression straps on the side of the water bottle pocket which is gonna help you tighten the bag down if it's not quite as full, you wanna just slim it up a little bit. You can also maybe hang something like a carabiner on the other side. I actually have my hero clip, so it's always nice to have that additional functionality provided by these straps. And then you have these compression straps that go along the front and down the bottom. I love that they have these quick release clips which make it very easy to attach something a little bit larger like a yoga mat or a tripod, a jacket that doesn't fit inside. You can see how easy it is to place something here. You have some adjustability. And then these straps actually go down below the bag so you can use them in a lot of different ways. So I really love the implementation here and the flexibility that these offer. And then at the top of the bag, you have a pretty nice carrying handle that offers a decent amount of padding. So it's pretty comfortable to hold even when the bag is a little bit more packed out. It does stick up quite a bit. I do wish that this was a little more flush against the top of the bag so it doesn't stick up quite as much, but that does make it very easy to reach down and grab the bag when you need to. As far as the capacity, the bag comes in at about 30 liters, which is a really versatile size in my opinion. It's slightly bigger than what I would normally use as an EDC bag, but I think that that extra size makes sense given all the compartments that this bag has. I was able to hold all the items that I normally like to carry with me and I still had a little bit of leftover space. One thing that I wanna call out is that because the bag does have a lot of pockets and each of them provides ample volume, when you fill everything up, it does tend to stick out a little bit more than some of the slimmer EDC bags that we featured on the channel. So that's just something that you wanna keep in mind if you're jumping onto public transit, navigating crowded areas, or planning on taking this onto an airline. Taking a look at the straps in the back paneling, so far the bag has been really comfortable to wear. I like how the straps have been implemented here. They have plenty of padding and they're pretty broken in right out of the box. On the inside, you don't have a lot of breathability, which would have been nice to see, maybe a meshier material, but it hasn't felt too bad. And I like the width of these straps. It's really gonna help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders when it's a little bit more packed out. 
On the straps, you also have these little loops at the top, which may be a good spot to hang your sunglasses or clip a light. And then you have an adjustable sternum strap to help distribute the weight. Down at the bottom of the straps, you have some quick release buckles, which are gonna allow you to get the bag off easily without changing the length of the straps. Moving into the back paneling, this has also felt really comfortable. I like the implementation here a lot. You have plenty of padding. It's really soft and cushioned, and it also has a meshy, breathable material along with elevation, which is gonna provide you with airflow and ventilation while you're walking around to help prevent moisture from building up. And then you also have plenty of support with the frame sheet here, which is gonna distribute the weight and just keep the bag very comfortable as you're wearing it for a longer period of time throughout the day. And then the last thing I'll call out while we're talking about the harness system is that you have these attachment points at the bottom that will allow you to add a waist belt if you like to use that with a bag of this size. It wasn't included with the bag that I got. And honestly, I wouldn't use a waist belt with a bag of this size. I just find that it's a little bit more cumbersome. It doesn't add that much additional support, but it's nice that you have the option to add one if you prefer to use it. Jumping into the organizational options, this is an area where the bag really excels. There's a lot of great pocketing all throughout, a nice variety of options for keeping your stuff easily accessible. Starting off on the front, you have this kind of quick access compartment that has a wide opening zipper and a nice amount of volume for anything that you wanna grab a little bit more easily during the day. Uh, and so in this compartment, you just have a large open space to start, which is gonna be a good spot to place something like pouches or larger bulkier accessories that you might be grabbing regularly. So in this compartment at the moment, I just have my GoPro Hero 3 Plus. I also tossed in a little headlamp that I like to have with me, particularly when I'm out at night. And then I also have this pouch from Tom Bin with some of the tech and EDC items that I always have with me. And then on the back of the compartment, you can see that there is some PALS webbing, which is gonna be great for attaching EDC items, carabiner clips, other accessories. It's, it's nice to have this sort of versatility to keep items secured. And then this also has a Velcro lining. So if you have patches or some of the tearaway pouches that are available from 511 or other companies, it's really nice that you have a lot of flexibility with how you customize and organize this open area. And then behind this area, you have kind of a slip pocket that has some internal organization. So you just have a space here that goes all the way down this compartment. It goes here, this length here. So you have plenty of height if you wanna play something like a moleskin notebook or maybe a Kindle. But then on the inside of this compartment, I don't know if you can see that clearly in there, you have some additional slots that are gonna hold some of those EDC items that might normally live in your pockets. So I have in this one here, all the way on the left, my Everyman click pen. And then I have a little flashlight that I like to have with me. I also have a pocket knife there. You can see that these slots are a little bit bigger. So if you have markers or bigger pens that you wanna place in here, you have some flexibility. And then all the way on the right, you have an additional slot. This one is a little bit bigger. So I really love the variety of organizational options that are offered back here. And then at the top, you also have a little lanyard with a plastic clip, which is gonna be a good spot to attach something like your keys or a multi-tool. And then on the flap of this compartment, you have some additional slip pockets, which are gonna be great for tech items that you wanna grab quickly during the day. So in this one here on the left, you can see there's plenty of space. In my case, I just placed a portable power bank to keep my devices charged while I'm on the go. And then next to that, I have a lightning cable and power brick for my tablet and my phone. And then behind these compartments, you have yet another compartment. You can see that there's this kind of Velcro closure here, uh, which is meant to be a little bit more hidden, I believe. So if you have sensitive items such as your wallet, identification, maybe some extra cash or SD cards, whatever it might be, you can place them in here. You can see there's plenty of space back here uh, for any items that you might wanna store. And then you can Velcro that up and it's not as easy to see or access because of the Velcro closure. The next area that we're gonna take a look at is the concealed carry compartment. So this is gonna be great if you wanna do off-body concealed carry, if you have a pistol that you wanna have with you along with some extra ammunition, you have these compartments that are easily accessible due to their vertical zipper. And it's nice that you have access from either side of the compartment, this goes all the way through. So it doesn't matter if you're righty or lefty, how you swing the bag around, you're gonna have quick access to whatever you need to grab from this compartment. On the inside, they have some straps that are gonna be you know, helpful for securing your pistol, maybe a few extra magazines of ammunition, anything that you wanna carry in here. I really like the amount of space and that even when the other compartments are in use, I still don't feel like it's a tight fit. It's not gonna be very difficult to reach in and grab whatever I need quickly. So a nice versatility here. You can also leverage this compartment for other things 
if you don't have a concealed carry weapon. I don't currently have one, uh, so I might place additional kind of tech accessories in here, maybe a notebook or my tablet. It's still a versatile compartment, but it's nice that it comes with some of that flexibility built in if you want to use it for that use case. Moving into the larger pockets of the bag, you have two kind of main storage areas. Starting with this first one here, it's gonna be a top loading compartment. The zipper doesn't go all the way down, but it still goes down far enough that you can easily see everything that's in the compartment. I also like that you have this brighter lining to help provide some visibility, particularly as you have to reach down into the bottom of the bag, you can see what you're reaching for. Then you also have some nice internal organization in this compartment. Before diving into that, I'll just talk about these items that I placed down here at the bottom as you do have some volume for anything that you wanna store that doesn't fit into a pocket. So in this area, I just placed my iPad mini and then I also have a full size moleskin notebook. And then next to that, I have a shadow pocket from GoRuck, which just has some of the bulkier accessories that I didn't want floating around. So I have my drone remote in here and a few other items. You can see here without anything in there, there's a decent amount of space here for anything that you might want to store. If you're a student, you can place some books, notebooks here. If you're traveling, this might be a good spot to put some toiletries and an extra pair of shoes. So nice versatility there. And then taking a look at some of the organizational options offered in this area, at the top on the back, you have a sunglasses pocket. This is kind of a larger slip pocket that has a soft lining to help prevent against scratching. In this area, I just placed my Ray-Ban sunglasses with their case. Uh, if you don't like to use a case, you could probably place your sunglasses here and there. They'll be pretty well protected. The compartment isn't rigid, but you know that fleece lining is gonna help. Uh, this might also be a good spot for your phone or anything more delicate that you might wanna access quickly. And then on the front of the compartment, you have a few zippered compartments at the top here. This one has mesh, which makes it very easy to see what's on the inside. And you have a decent amount of volume here. In this area, I just have my Apple Magic Mouse at the moment, and I also have my Apple AirPods Pro. So I generally grab those often during the day. It's nice that it's easy to get to them. And then below that, you have another zippered compartment. This one does not have mesh, so it might be a better area for anything more sensitive that you might wanna store if you wanna place your wallet, maybe some medicines, just stuff that you don't want easily visible when you open the compartment up. And in this area, I just placed a little manicure set that I always like to carry with me. I also have standard deck of cards. And then I placed a little tin that has some band-aids and ointments and things like that. And then the last area that we're gonna take a look at is the second larger compartment, which also includes the laptop storage area. So again, top loading compartment with a zipper that goes down enough to be able to easily see everything that's on the inside, you also have a decent amount of volume here for larger and bulkier items, which I was very glad to see. Still have some leftover space here at the top. Again, that 30 liters really gives you a lot of flexibility. And so diving into what I have in this compartment, at the top I have my Beats Studio wireless headphones with their hard case. And then I also have my DJI Mavic Mini with its hard case as well. Next to that, I have my Evergoods Civic Access Pouch, which has a lot of the tech accessories that I use, particularly while working remote. If you wanna see how I load this out, make sure to check out the in-depth video that I did. And then the last thing that I have in here at the moment is my Levitate portable standing desk. Now the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. So you can see this comes up a decent amount, which is what makes it great for holding those bulkier items. This is also gonna allow me to use this as a minimal travel bag if I wanna toss in a packing cube, my dop kit, maybe an extra pair of shoes. And I could definitely see myself using this for a longer weekend trip, even a week of travel if I get creative with my packing. So really love the flexibility offered here. And then on the back of the compartment, you have a laptop sleeve. And you know, this sleeve offers a decent amount of padding. It's a little bit thicker than a standard slip pocket, but it is suspended off the bottom of the ground. So it's gonna keep it protected if you place your bag down a little bit harder, which I was very happy to see. It's gonna be able to hold a 15 or 16 inch laptop pretty comfortably. You can see with my 13 inch MacBook Pro, there's plenty of leftover space here at the top. And so pulling my device out, now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. And so no fleece lining, and this doesn't come out that much. So if you have a thicker device or you like to use a protective case with your laptop, it might be a little bit of a tight fit, particularly when the rest of the compartment is a little bit more packed out. But for me, since I don't use a case, my laptop slides in there easily. And with the padding and support provided by the frame sheet, and then the fact that this is suspended off the bottom of the ground, it really feels like my device is gonna be very well protected while I'm running around throughout the day. So a really nice implementation in this main area and throughout the rest of the bag. I love the variety of organizational options that are provided. And if you're looking for a very versatile 
and durable everyday carry bag that's going to offer plenty of space and just a ton of organization. This is going to be a fantastic option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the LV18 backpack over the past couple of weeks, and you can currently purchase this on the company site for about $140, which to me feels like a pretty reasonable price considering the features and build quality that it has to offer, and this also compares well to other similar bags in this price range. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag this made me think of is the 511 Rush 12 2.0, which we looked at recently. That was another very well-built bag from the company that offered a lot of organizational options. It has a more kind of overt tactical feel. It has molly webbing all around the outside, so it's going to be a little bit more expandable with pouches, carabiners, and anything else that you might want to attach to that type of webbing. And it still has plenty of other pocketing throughout the bag. It's comfortable to wear. It's well-built. It's going to be a little bit cheaper than this one, so if you like that tactical styling and you want to save a little bit of money, that's going to be a great option to check out. The next bag this made me think of is the North Face Surge Backpack, which is a really versatile bag, similar size to this. It comes in at around 30 liters. It has lots of organizational pockets all throughout, good laptop protection. It comes in at a pretty similar price point. It's a well-built bag. It's gonna be comfortable to wear. The aesthetic on that feels like it's gonna blend in very nicely into a campus setting or for taking into the outdoors. Even though they're a similar size, I think that because that bag has maybe a little bit of a simplified layout, the main compartment is just a big bucket of space, so it's gonna be able to hold potentially a little bit more or just some bulkier items, and it's not gonna have some of the concealed carry functionality that this bag has, so if you're looking for a backpack that's durable and it's gonna offer lots of pocketing and plenty of space, then that's gonna be another great option to consider. Another bag this made me think of is the Timbuktu Authority Pack Deluxe, which is a really versatile bag. It comes in at 28 liters, so it's gonna be close in size to this, but it has a much slimmer silhouette. It's not really gonna stick out, which means it's not gonna be as great for holding bulkier items, but it is gonna have more of a sophisticated or kind of professional vibe if you're looking to take a backpack into the office or to wear with a nicer outfit. It's gonna offer good laptop protection, some nice organizational options, a really comfortable harness system, and so, if you're looking for a bag, again, that's gonna be a little bit better for an office setting, and you don't need all of the organizational options that this provides, and that's gonna be a fantastic option to keep in mind. And then the last option that I'll mention here is the Evergood CPL24 V2, which is one of my favorite EDC bags. I really love the minimalist aesthetic that that has. It's gonna work well for exploring a city, for taking into the outdoors. I love that it has a clamshell style opening, which is gonna be a little bit of a difference from this bag, which is more of a top loader. So, you know, that's gonna make it really easy to pack the bag out. It comes in at 24 liters, so it feels a little bit smaller than this, but because of that clamshell style opening and it's simpler layout, it feels like it can hold almost as much. It's also gonna maintain a little bit of a slimmer profile. Uh, it has plenty of organizational options, not quite as many as this bag here. It's a little bit of a simplified layout, but it's very effective. It's one of my favorite layouts in a bag. You just get plenty of space for everything that you might need to carry with you. It has a comfortable harness system. It's not going to be quite as breathable as this one, but it still feels great over a longer period of time. Good laptop protection. And so if you have a little bit of a higher budget and you're looking for a clamshell style bag that's going to offer tons of durability, then that's going to be one of the best options that you can take a look at. With that being said, the LV18 holds up really well against those bags, and if you're looking for a comfortable and durable EDC backpack that's gonna offer plenty of space and a ton of organizational options, and this is gonna be a fantastic bag to check out. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of the LV18 and how it compares to some of the other popular EDC bags that are currently on the market. And if there are any similar options that you think I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.